In this series, we're going to learn about how to take some length off of the coat and do the actual haircut part. This is a clipper. On the clipper, I have a 40 blade. On the 40 blade, I have a couple different clipper combs for different parts of the body. This is a one half comb. We're going to use that to take length off of Uni all over and on his ears and on his cheeks. So let's start with his neck. We'll take our noose, we'll hold up his head, we'll take our clipper, and with the grain of the hair, you're going to move with the same length, same way that the hair grows, you run your clipper comb. Uni's just getting a little tiny trim today, so we're not going to see a whole lot of hair come off. And you move quickly enough to get it done, but not too quickly. Otherwise, your cuts will be uneven. Uni has wavy hair, so the cuts might look a little uneven anyway. It's part of his natural fluffy look. So you run this blade all around the neck so that you can then put your grooming noose back on, which makes it a little bit more comfortable for the dog and a little safer as well so your dog won't fall off the table. If you're going to groom the ears, you take your comb and you put the ear on your hand so as not to cut the edge of the ear and run flat along it like that and you do the same all over, down the legs. Nice thing about a clipper comb, you can pick whatever length you want and as long as you don't have any tangles or knots in your dog's coat, you can just run this over your dog everywhere. Sometimes when you're working on the head and cheeks, you might pick a comb that's a little bit longer, leaves the hair a little longer. Usually you use those on the top of the head, and maybe a little bit on the cheek. This is all really personal preference, whatever length works for you. And also you want to use a length that's going to last the dog until the next grooming, so that you cut it short enough for your dog to look good and last long.